नमस्कार आई डॉक्टर जगदीश एस जोशी प्रोफेसर एंड डायरेक्टर यूजीसी ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट सेंटर ऑफ गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम यू टू स्वयं कोर्स ऑन रिसर्च एथिक्स वी ऑल फॉलो एथिक्स इन अवर लाइफ आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन एथिक्स टू बी फॉलोड वाइल राइटिंग क्वालिटेटिव एकेडेमिक पब्लिकेशन ड्यूरिंग दिस कन्वर्सेशन we together will try to understand what academic publication is comprehend the meaning of ethics in publications identify the reasons for following ethics in writing quality academic publications identify good academic publication practices learn the importance of ethics integrity and honesty in academic publications learn various ethical practices to be followed while writing quality academic publications familiarize ourselves with different initiatives to curb ethical practices practice ethical publications refrain ourselves from unethical practices so this is what we are going to touch during this module i am going to talk about this various ideas where we will try to understand what ethical practices are and how we can practice them there are various roles of academicians to name a few they are to teach conduct research and carry out extension activities this is what generally we fill in in our aqrs this is generally we discuss when we discuss about performances of teachers so these are the roles the publication is integral part of all the above activities one cannot think of academics or one cannot think of academic activities without publication whether it is kg that is lower classes or whether it is pg whether it is mphil or dilet we are an author of a textbook or nobel laureate all either use publications or publish themselves do you know william shakespeare rabindranath tagore kalidas vedvyas valmiki tulsidas kabir premchand i can go on with the names i know your answer and the answer is yes how do you know them just try to remember have you ever met them <laughs> yes i know the answer and if my guess is correct you never met them so uh, then how you remember them let me repeat the question which i have told you just before some time yes friends we know them by their publications there are many such great authors who live within us our minds crossing the barriers of time space and place publications can make you immortal publications made them immortal people remember two type of persons or personalities people who earn fame or defame publication can earn you reputation but if you are not careful it may defame you one should try his her best to make one's publication the most possible qualitative there are several factors which make the publication qualitative one of the most crucial factors is publication ethics we are going to focus on ethics to be followed while writing quality academic publications why ethics to be followed while writing quality academic publications this is the first question which comes to my mind the first thing that may come to your mind also and that is it is to make our academic publication qualitative or save ourselves from defame it is obviously true but there are many other reasons as well we all know we all know ravan yes ravana of ramayan what is your perception of ravan bad man abductor of sita and a proven villain do you know he was one of the most learned scholars very courageous brave soldier and fighter great king worshipper of lord shiva and above all he was gentleman but he was defamed and remembered as a villain because of his immortal and unethical acts one may be a great scholar like him but unethical practices can lead defame and lot of other irrespectable consequences 
as they led Ravan's image. Publications build one's image. Remember the names of famous authors whom you read. What image you have about those authors on your mind? Our publications will build our image. When we publish, it becomes public. It becomes available to public. We may not meet our readers face to face, but our publications will reach millions. It may reach thousands of the contemporaries and millions of the future readers. It is a moral duty of all of us to follow ethics for the well-being of the world. Ethics are to be followed to respect other publication, research and creativity. At the same time, to earn the same for ourselves. Albert Camus said, a man without ethics is a wild beast loosed upon this world. Honesty, integrity and ethics are fundamentals of an enriching environment for teaching, research and scholarship. And publication is one of the pillars of them. It is a pillar on which this all stand. Teachers, professors or academicians are the role models and mentors of many young minds. Society never accepts unethical acts or deeds of academicians. Academicians are like us cannot make such practices. How can an academician be unethical? The genuine and qualitative researcher cannot be unethical. Ethical publication may or may not lead us to fame, but it is sure that it will bring satisfaction to us. Publication carries a big social responsibility. As people trust and believe whatever is printed and published, so it is our duty. It is a duty of publisher also. At the same time, similar duty of the institution where such publications take place to follow ethical standards. There are legal and institutional reasons also to follow ethics while writing academic publications. When you are part of any academic institution, it is a duty and responsibility of the person like us and you, all of us, to follow the rules and ethics laid down by the institution. The image of any institution is built and tempered by the persons who make that institution. And institutions are made by people. After all, institutions are known by people. One personally may decide to be unethical. Even one can decide to be immoral. But in that case, that person may not be able to continue as a part of the institution. There is a responsibility of the person working in the institution that he should think about the name and fame of the institution. At the same time, it is the responsibility of the institution to lay down such norms for the persons associated with the institution that can build the image of institution and save it from defame. Think if any unethical practice of your colleague is detected, what will happen? Most of the institution will go for punitive actions if any person associated with them found practicing unethical activities. Maybe other kind of unethical practices be not that much public as any publication can be because after all publication is something which becomes public. As publication is generally public, the definition of publication itself says that it is public. Academic integrity of the institution will be questioned in that case when unethical practices are practiced by anybody who is related or associated with any of such institution. Mr. Manoj Kumar, the coordinator of the course, has already talked about the consequences of plagiarism. One may lose the degree, one may defame oneself and the institution, one may lose the job and eventually the image is distorted in the society. Same can happen if one is found practicing unethical activities while writing for publication. Reputed and established scholarly journals will not accept the papers for publication if unethical practices are noticed. The same will happen with the reputed and established publication houses and institutions and they will not accept such works for publication where ethics are compromised. One may lose funding if already availed and will not get if he has proposed for funding. Unethical activity is a breach of trust. 
and result in punishment. UGC, the apex body of higher education in India, has come out with a notification of the UGC regulation related to plagiarism entitled UGC Promotion of Academic Integrity and Prevention of Plagiarism in Higher Education Institutions Regulation 2018 on 23rd July 2018. Dr. Rajneesh Jain, the Secretary of UGC, in the DO letter to the regulation convey that in order to put check on plagiarism and to eliminate the scope of this menace, UGC approved the regulation. The vice chancellors of all the universities in India were asked to put the regulation, this regulation to curb the unethical practices in force in the universities and colleges affiliated to them. Unethical practices attract severe penalties under this act and provisions of the institutions also.